the entrance antiphon for the queenship of Mary. At your right stands the queen in robes of gold, finely arrayed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the queenship of Mary, the fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. And it's aptly placed uh, in the octave, so a week after the Assumption. So as we remember this honor that was bestowed upon Mary, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you showed us what it is to live with humility. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Jesus, you are the Son of God, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our queen, graciously grant that, sustained by her intercession, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel led me to the gate which faces the east, and there I saw the glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. I heard a sound like the roaring of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. The vision was like that which I had seen when he came to destroy the city, and like that which I had seen by the river Shabar. I fell prone as the glory of the Lord entered the temple by way of the gate which faces the east. But Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the inner court. And I saw that the temple was filled with the glory of the Lord. Then I heard someone speaking to me from the temple, while the man stood beside me. The voice said to me, Son of man, this is where my throne shall be. This is where I will set the soles of my feet. Here I will dwell among the children of Israel forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The The glory glory of of the Lord Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The The glory glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father, you have but one Father in heaven. Do not be called Master. You have one Master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm realizing that the Feast of the Coronation was a very difficult mystery of the rosary for me, or it has been for a while. Uh, last year, I preached about how I struggled with the Coronation, thinking, like, what is Mary going to do with a crown? Like, why? Why give Mary a crown? And the answer to that is, it's not so much about the object she wears, it's about the relationship she has with us, that Mary is our protector, our queen, someone there to advocate for us to God in heaven. I think the next issue, and the issue I want to preach a little bit about this morning, I have with the coronation is the thought of, it just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> um, I know if I walked into any of our our classrooms in our grade school, if I walked into the preschool, even up to the eighth grade, and gave one of the kids a crown, I think every other kid in the class would be upset. Like, hey, what, why did you give that person a crown? That's not fair. And they, they'd show that reaction, that upsetness in different ways. But I think even as adults, I have the thought of, all right, God, you gave Mary a crown. Where's my crown? That's not fair. And I think the response to that has to be, God does not give grace as if it's some sort of competition. Here on earth, love, affection, care, our resources, they're limited. But with God, his care and affection is not limited at all. And so when he loves one person, it's not that he's spending more time with them and less time with everybody else. His love for one individual is something that should be a glory for all of us. That we should look at Mary and see the attention and love and care that God has showered upon her and think, God wants to give that to me also. In loving one person so much, God takes nothing away from us. So as we look at Mary this morning, and as we celebrate the great honor that she was given, yes, none of us are called to be the mother of God. None, none of us are called to wear the same crown that Mary does, but we are recipients of the exact same love, of the exact same attention and graciousness from God. So let's celebrate today, especially as we receive our Lord in the Eucharist, how much he cares for us, how much he gives himself to us. Because just like Mary, we're called to be recipients of that same grace forever in heaven. And now let us stand and offer to God our petitions. For all members of the church, 
May God's grace continue to nourish and strengthen us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in governmental and political authority, may God lead them in their service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have lost employment or suffered from the effects of the economic turndown in recent months, may God uphold and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of this faith community, may the Lord look graciously upon our every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who... For those who have died, especially Squeaky Marquardt, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they join the heavenly choir in giving continual praise to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment to offer our own personal intentions to God. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have given a mother to care for us, to pray for us. You shower your same love and affection that you give to her upon all of us. In that light, please hear the prayers we make, for we make them through our mother, through Mary. And we pray this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, praying to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered himself to you on the cross as the unblemished oblation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice 
may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis Borgia and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our apostolic administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Blessed are you who have believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled.
Let us pray. Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partakers at your eternal banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just a reminder that I will be in the confessional after just a few moments right after Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.